plank. You have to make sure that your posture in tone, nice and straight, your low back is flat and extended. Now, one, why, uh, once you're ready, your body weight on the right leg will start on the right leg. While you prepare your left foot forward into the Roomba walk, you have to make sure that you pass three points of your foot. We have heel, center and ball. So you have to pass all these three stages. So when you prepare your leg and while you touch with your heel of your left leg the floor, you have to make sure that you are on the heel of the foot. Now slowly you have to transfer your body weight on the center. That's usually when we're using the pendulum action. And this third position is when we have a rotation, you should feel that your body weight is already on the ball. You don't need to lift your heel up, but it's just this, you have to sense that your body weight on the ball of your foot. The same you will uh, do with your right leg. While you prepare your foot and you start to take in the step, feel that your heel is on the floor, so you sense the heel of your foot. Now slowly transfer your body weight on the center of the foot. And while you have a rotation, you have to sense that your body weight on the ball of the foot. It's very, very important to transfer your body weight during the rumba walk properly. Now, let's talk about the back foot. Your back, back foot is also have a lot of action and a lot of movement. Now, let's split those three uh, stages and connect it with our standing leg, with our right leg. Now, while I start, I first I extend my foot, I prepare my foot. I prepare my foot with the toes. My toes are already start to release down to the floor. While I transfer my body weight on the left leg and I, set, and I start to feel the heel of, the, uh, of my foot, my right leg is slowly Elevate, elevate. While I have, a, while I transfer my body weight on the center of the foot, I push more my standing leg, and I achieve extension on my toes. Now the back foot is very, very important. When you start to do the step, your heel is just elevates. You have no rotation. And right now my position, my two feet are straight and my back right heel is up on the left leg I feel I sense the heel of the foot now while I transfer my body weight on the center of the leg of my left leg I use my back right foot in rotation so I, I achieve not only toe position but I also have a maximum rotation of my thigh and of my toes and now, when I have rotation on my standing left leg, I transfer my body weight on the ball of the foot, and at the same time, I collect my feet together. One more time. You have extension first. Now, left heel elevates. Right heel touch the floor, so your body weight split it. You have 50-50. Now, number two. Transfer your body weight on the right leg of the center of the right leg and rotate your back left foot maximum. And now when you have a rotation on your standing right leg, transfer your body weight on the ball and collect your left foot to the right. For beginners, I like to use two pieces of paper. You can find everywhere you can use a napkin if you want. So, um, you need to have a big pieces, that's totally enough. And we have to step with both feet. Now, uh, why I'd like to use this exercise and I usually use with my beginner, uh, beginner students, because it gives you much more connection and better understanding of your legs and your feet and connection with the floor. So, we're not gonna use our high toes positions, because right now you have to learn how to transfer the body weight, how to feel connection with the floor. So we will start with the, on the right leg, we will take our posture in tone, nice and tone, and prepare for rumba walk. I will start on my right foot and your toes 
all five toes has to be released to the floor. So you don't want to squeeze your toes, you don't want to tighten your toes. You have to feel all five toes released on the floor. Now we're going to start. We'll start with on our right foot and we move slowly with strong connection to the floor, our foot forward into the walk. At the same time, when we transfer our body weight, we don't lose our connection in our right foot. And again, flex your knee first. Now move the piece of paper forward till you achieve this triangle position in your knees. And continuously move your right foot forward into the step. Again, transfer your body weight on the right leg, but don't forget about your uh, left foot as your piece of paper there. So flex your knee first, stand your legs straight, left knee is flexed, move napkin forward till you achieve this triangle action in your knees. Again, continuously move your left leg forward into the step. Transfer your body weight, but still save the connection in between two legs. Don't lose it. And flex your knee, move your napkin now till your triangle position. And again, prepare your foot, transfer your body weight, but always remember about connection with two feet on the floor.